USS Gearing, the thicker and much hotter cousin to the HMS Lightning, was the epitome of American destroyer design in World War II. And unlike some other legendary destroyers, it actually existed. Gearing is like a Fletcher on Trenbolone and Acetate with one extra 127mm gun, torpedoes that reach 165 kilometers, and a bigger HP pool. If she's set up right, Gearing is the destroyer of Red Team Destroyer's hopes and dreams. It's most effective when you're specking it for the guns. If you have them, Vincent Mordoff brings reload speed down to low 2 seconds and comes with very useful perks. Take Observant Rage, Look at Me Now, Twist and Track, Sheltered Arms, and Unstoppable. If you don't have him, consider borrowing your mom's credit card next time there are event commanders, because Wargaming likes to hide the best perks behind a paywall. Not that I think there's anything wrong with that. The game is free to play after all, so quit your bitching. Capitalism makes the world go round boys and girls, and it seems to be a good business model. Just ask Victor Kisley. If you do not have Vinny, Bill Halsey serves as a good alternative commander with the same perks except for sheltered arms. Arlay Burke is also a good choice, and his added accuracy will serve you well in your Red Team Destroyer spanking endeavors. Whatever choice you make, inspirations that would serve you best would be Eric Bay for concealment. This should always be choice number one as it makes you a more versatile part of your team, frees you up to make more plays without being limited to hiding from enemy planes and other ships. Also, I like to take Billy Sims for my second inspiration for a larger health pool. That way, in the middle and the end of the game, I have more HP to pull off some potato Xbox player YOLO action. Eat your heart out, Leroy Jenkins. Maybe that could have been executed better. Anyways, set the ship up with aiming systems mod 1, propulsion mod, concealment mod, and main battery mod 3. An argument could be made for taking the torpedo launcher mod 3, as the torpedoes on gearing are very good, except for the 50% chance of being incapacitated with torpedo launcher mod 3. The ship really doesn't need any excuses for modules to break more easily, as modules already break down more than a Tiger II in 1945. That's a lot of damage! So how do we play this murder canoe? It's like the Swiss army knife of destroyers. With good guns, great torps, good concealment, decent maneuverability and speed, you can play the ship in a lot of ways. You're at the top of the food chain when it comes to close gunfights, so you can aggressively contest caps and hope another enemy destroyer wants to play. Like the lightning, you have most of your firepower in the front of your ship so you can push into other DDs and maintain focus fire on them.
while you can play aggressively in gearing, you need to keep several things in mind to be successful. First of all, pay special attention to enemy cruisers and whether or not they have radar. This will limit how aggressively you can play. If there are cruisers in the area, or if you are unsure if they're in the area, you should not push as hard. Limit who can shoot you during engagements. Even if you know you can smoke an enemy destroyer one-on-one, -on -one, if he has fire support from his friendly ships, you can lose health very quickly. It's best to have your own friendly ships in the area to back you up. When using your torps, remember that they have an insanely long range. Use that to your advantage and target them in areas where you have multiple layers of ships to potentially hit. If you miss the first ship, maybe the second layer of enemies will be dumb enough to take a hit. When playing forward, always have an escape route and use that escape route. Don't be the guy that blows your load in the first two minutes of gameplay and dies just to get a cap. Those points you earn will not matter in the grand scheme of things. Play the long game. Your girlfriend will thank you. When the map has thinned, radar ships are killed or pushed back, and the carrier is not hounding you, it's the time for the gearing to shine. You can use your twist and track to hunt enemy destroyers, take caps, stealth torp, arm enemy battleships from smoke, or do whatever needs to be done to win the game, as that is the ultimate goal. Remember, the cool kids help their team and win games, not chase damage.